ready for the big shootout? I beg your pardon? High noon, isn't it? Do you not forsake me, oh, my darling. <laughs> Did someone tell you you could sing? <laughs> you have to work with this every day? Yeah. <laughs> Just a few more minutes, it'll all be over. Jack Benton will be behind bars where he belongs. And I can go back to feeding McCleary the straight lines he so richly deserves. <laughs> oh, there's Kathy. I'll see you inside. Yeah. Sounds like she's just ready to eat Benton alive. Well, her hands are like ice. Oscar winning a... Kathy, it wasn't your fault. Kristen's right. You did everything you possibly could as Sonny's attorney. Now, you were not less effective simply because you're Sonny's friend, too. I should never have taken the case. Kat, you believed you could get a conviction when no one else did. Sonny had the best lawyer she could have found. I should have put Sonny on the stand. I should have forced her to divulge the identity of that woman. She was vital to this case. I knew it. And yet I let Sonny talk me out of it because I was too concerned for her feelings. You see, that is what happens when your client is your friend. Bravo, Mrs. Phillips. A truly wonderful performance. You're a sick man, you know that, Benton? You need psychiatric help. Oh, is that your considered opinion, Officer Emerson? Can I quote you on this evening's broadcast? Go ahead, do it. Do anything. But you have a bad dream. You spit on the sidewalk. I'm going to be there for you, Benton. Oh, in front of witnesses? You're actually threatening me in front of witnesses? No threats, promises. From the way it looks, you've gotten away with attacking women twice, but not a third time, not in this town. I'm an innocent man. You harass me, and I'll sue you. Can I drop you, Kathy? It's on my way. Thank you. I, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Are you coming with us, Kristen? Um, no. No, thanks. Liza. Yeah. Be in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Can I give you a lift? No, um, I got my car. Thank you.